I see you. I see you. Very, very clearly. Avatar stands out as one of the most impressive films in history, renowned for its breathtaking visuals and captivating story. Fast forward 13 years later and we're greeted by the sequel, Way of Water, and now, a new game. However, does the game Avatar Frontiers of Pandora capture the spirit of the original movie? After playing half of the game, we're going to put that to the test. Fight! Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and we'll be diving deep into this in-depth comparison of the movie and the game. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! The story in Frontiers of Pandora was very interesting as it somewhat aligns with the timeline of the movie. <laughs> I was a child of two worlds. I am no longer. I am Navi. While the movie took place around 2148, the game took place in 2146, eight years before the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains. To give a short recap of the movie, the protagonist is a former US Marine named Jake Sully who was offered by the RDA a contract to research and explore the habitable planet of Pandora as part of their avatar program in exchange for his legs back. In order to do so, he would have to use an avatar and learn about the Na'vi from the inside, leading to the movie's plot defending the Na'vi and protecting Pandora. Who are we in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora? We are not human like Jake, but we are one of the Na'vi children placed in the RDA's ambassadors program. This is where humans interact with them using their avatars, teach them their ways, train them to become soldiers, help them become ambassadors, and for them to reach out to Navi clans to carry out the RDA's work. In the movie, these humans were addressed by Navi as dreamwalkers, and they are still called that in the game, Alma a teacher being one of them. We do not become part of the program for long as conflicts begin to arise and escalate. Like the movie, we encounter a similar conflict in the game as we face the RDA. In the original Avatar movie, we were introduced to a ruthless man named Colonel Miles Quaritch, a military man determined to exploit Pandora's resources, mainly unobtainium, at any cost, even destroying Pandora and its indigenous Navi population. Hey Sully, how's it feel to betray your own race? <laughs> The developers understand the importance of a formidable antagonist and introduces us to Mercer in Frontiers of Pandora. He is the leader of the RDA with orders to gather materials for projects across Pandora, leading to the TAP program's creation. His assistant Colonel Harding aids him in the colonization of the Western Frontier, which also involved poaching and stuffing its creatures. <laughs> What made Mercer similar to Quaritch was their violent approach when the Navi wouldn't comply with them in handing over their land and materials. Both have even fabricated stories about the Navi and have a huge disdain and zero care for their culture. For example, Mercer did not like the fact that we were wearing a song chord or that our sister Ahari was singing a song by the Navi. Stop right there! timeline where Jake Sully and the Omatakaya clan rise up against the RDA, Mercer concluded that the Navi cannot be trusted. Therefore, he sent his soldiers to kill the children. He must have really liked Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Look, we have lost Pandora. Some avatar driver named Jake Sully went full native, turned the Navi on us. That's why you can't trust any of them. Alma, their teacher, rescues the children and hides them in sleeping pots, leading them to wake up 15 years after the Battle of Hallelujah and escaping from Mercer and the RDA once again. Get rid of them. With help from Navi warriors like Solek, we escaped the facility and navigated the Pandora jungle to the Resistance headquarters. As a Navi, you must learn about your roots as a member of the Sarantu clan, explore unknown areas in Pandora, recruit clans to join our revolution, and stop the Sky People from destroying Pandora with their tech. In a way, 
It is like Far Cry, but in the best way possible. Aside from the story and characters, we'll be comparing the setting and world building too. In the original Avatar movie, James Cameron amazed us with his visionary depiction of Pandora, and the game brings it to life with bioluminescent wonders of the night, to lush landscapes, floating mountains, dense jungles, unique flora and fauna, and awe-inspiring creatures. Just like Jake Sully, we're given the reins to explore new areas in Pandora, interact with the environment, encounter unseen creatures and aspects of Navi culture, some of them being from the film. When we woke up from our 15-year nap in the game, we were addressed by a Navi warrior with I see you, which was a common saying from the movie to show you seeing into somebody's soul. While obtaining Dapafit pods to help our friend Solik, we encounter a few hammerhead titanotheres attacking RDA soldiers just like in the movie. Soli was instructed in the movie to stand his ground and not engage with them. Unfortunately for us, it looked like the hammerheads were going to ground us to dust. So we came to a logical conclusion, running away. I was scared. Do not run or he'll charge. <laughs> So that I can't find what you need. We also encounter a group of Thanators, panther like creatures that like to sneak up on us like from the films. Despite the threats, we've learned a lot about being Navi while bonding with other clans like the Arani clan and the Zeswa clan. We didn't receive a warm welcome at first, but eventually we built enough trust with them to form alliances. Oh jeez. We learned to shoot arrows, use Navi weapons, bless your prey after hunting them to send their spirit to Ewa. <laughs> Your spirit goes to Ewa and your body stays to become part of the people. Thank you for these gifts. Use Navi weapons and also interact with the creatures. Throughout the game, we become active participants in the world of Pandora. To assist the Arani clan, we had to destroy floating RDA devices that were agitating the King Lore creatures. Yet in order to do so, we need our own Ikron, just like from the film. So we got to head to an Ikron rookery with our friend A2 and connect to Ewa through it to initiate a bond. In the movie, if an Ikron chooses you, it will try to kill you. Meanwhile in the game, I think the Ikron didn't want anything to do with me. It ran away from me multiple times when I approached it. So honestly, I didn't know whether to be mildly offended or laugh. On the other hand, it did throw me off a cliff multiple times, so maybe it did like me. After winning the Ikron's heart, I got to name her Talisi and sealed the bond with her just like how one does it in the movie. Think, fly! Fly? <laughs> You must secure the bond with a final act of trust. How do I- For a creature that tried to kill me, she's actually pretty cute. Look at her. You can eat all my snacks. After assisting the Arani clan, you encounter another Navi named Nassim from the Zeswa clan who welcome you to their party and teach you their ways like taming a dire horse, another familiar creature from the film. This reminds me of Way of the Water where Sully and his family had to learn from the Mitkaina clan swimming. Related to the game's world building aspect, they managed to capture the visual essence of the Avatar universe, bringing Pandora to life using colorful visuals. The developers did the cinematic masterpiece justice in their games. As we navigate through Pandora's diverse ecosystems, it feels like we're stepping into a dream. I was in awe when I saw these wood sprites dance in the night sky. There were so many of them near the Tree of Souls, and the way the Tree of Souls shone in the darkness. Regardless of criticism I've seen on the game, I believe it has a way of immersing you in a visually stunning environment. As we wrap our exploration in the world of Avatar, both on screen and in-game, one thing becomes abundantly clear. For 
Frontiers of Pandora is not just a game, but it's a love letter to the cinematic masterpiece that is the Avatar movie. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and like the video for more content like this. How many of you have watched the movie? It was one of the films that was very memorable in my childhood. What aspects of the game surprised you the most? And how do you think it complements the movie? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and that's all. Thank you.